This is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn what are the tweaks which we can see whenever there is a changes happening on your input decorator by using NGON changes when we are using an array. In my previous video, we have observed all the different scenarios where creating a lot of issues during the development whenever we are using a at the rate input decorator with our object along with ng on changes in this video we will see about arrays so it would be something similar to an object but to make it clear i want to make this video so that you will understand even in the array format so let me quickly jump into visual studio code here we have created a person object in my previous video so let me remove all this stuff and let me save this go to the HTML let me remove this child content and also let me remove this event and go to your TS let me remove this person info instead of this let me use items which is of array any of array and it is by default empty and whenever I receive this items then I want to loop it so let me create one div and inside this div let me use ng for and let me create let item of items and inside each item I want to pass some username and the age so for example something like item dot age and let me use this paragraph and let me use item dot name save this and whenever this items is updated it will update so where I want to pass these items I want to pass these items from my parent so parent items is equal to an array which is having a name as sai and age as 20 and also I have something called as name let me copy this object and paste here pass skk and 21 or 22 let me save this this is my items which are passed to my child so let me pass that to my child something like items is equal to parent items now these items will be passed to your child by using this parent items and these parent items will be passed to your child and this will be calling your changes property and that will be updated in your html content let me go here clear it off and you can see sai and 20 22 and sai so let me make it a bit understandable so instead of using a, another paragraph i'll use only one paragraph and i'll pass this here with a hyphen in between that so that you will be seeing a name and the age let me save this here it is working as expected and now what i'll do is i'll try to change this array whenever i click a button so i can use something like push object and let me go here let me write on click or a click event and this click event will have push obj as the name given for that method and let me define this method here and what it should do is it should push the object that means parent items dot push of I want to push one new object which is something like age colon let me give it as 23 and name as some updated so let me save this and go to the HTML save this and whenever I push some value into this that push value should call ng on changes at the same time it should send the data to my HTML content and the HTML content should be updated so let me reload for the first time my ng on changes is triggered and clear it off let me click on push object the object is pushed into the array and the array is updated in my child HTML but ng on changes is not triggered the only reason behind this is we are pushing a new object into the array but the array is not getting updated so that is the reason this is happening so for solving that we have to create a new reference for our array and then that reference should be assigned so for example how we can do this is let me cut this and assign this to my dot 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 this dot parent items comma be giving one more object to this so paste here and let me remove this push and just pass that object to this and give semicolon let me save this and go here clear it off and reload so first time it called and whenever i clicked on the push object now it is calling because we have changed the reference by using a spread operator not only this way you can even pass something like the push event itself you can use the same push event but after pushing again you try to reassign this parent items with the previous parent items so this is also one way where we are trying to change the reference and click on the push object 
this will create but here the problem is you are doing a lot of operations on one parent items and it will re-render a lot of times so i usually prefer to go with a spread operator with one shot update of this parent items so let me use something like is equal to i can use the dot parent items comma paste and let me remove all the unwanted stuff only pass the object to this and save this here also it will re trigger that ng on changes why because it is updating its reference so it is same like an object but here the spread operator is used inside an array in my previous video it has used inside the object by this we can understand whenever you are using an object or an array or any of the complex objects with arrays always prefer to create a new object whenever you want to call ng on changes lifecycle otherwise it will never call ng on changes lifecycle and the data will be updated as usual only whenever you you want to update or do some manipulations and you want to call the ng on changes lifecycle then only you have to pass in this format by creating a new object and also i want to let you know about techzet techzet is a platform on medium where you can learn all the backend stuff mainly it is focused on the adobe experience management magento as well as osgi along with the basics of java and you can see this link framework completely so just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this medium blog if you like please like share follow media blog hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you